Good morning children. Welcome to your English class. Today we are going to continue with our essays. By the end of this video, you will be able to develop research and communication skills, develop the skill of creative thinking, and improve your reading and writing skills. These are the names of the essays. I hope you all have noted them down from the SNAP homework. Children, yesterday we discussed reflective essay, computer, its uses and abuses. Today, we are going to discuss an imaginative essay and unlucky day. Before starting with the essay, let's discuss the points. First is Quotation Second, Introduction In introduction we will write A day that one would like to forget for nothing good happened that day. Third point Got a plate in the morning for the half yearly exam. Next point Prepared for the wrong subject. Next is punished for coming late. And the last point is conclusion. Now let's discuss quotation related to it. I am the luckiest unlucky person. Nobody gets justice. People only get good luck or bad luck. So children, these are the two quotations related to the essay and unlucky day. Keep in mind one thing that quotation always comes in inverted commas. I have discussed these two quotations with you but you are free to use any quotation on your own. Now let's start with our essay. So children our essay is an unlucky day. We are going to join these hints to frame a good essay. Let's start with introduction. A day in school is normally like any other day. But there is a day that one would like to forget. For nothing good happens that day. Even now... Recalling it gives me nightmares. Now our next point is got a plate in the morning for the half yearly examinations. Let's start. Last year in the midst of the half yearly examinations, I got up late in the morning. My head felt dizzy because of sleeping late the previous night. Preparing for the English language test. Looking at the alarm clock left me pale. I had just 10 minutes to board my school bus. I scrambled from bed. Scrambled means to climb up from bed. Completed my daily chores in a jiffy. Jiffy means a moment. I had barely put on my trousers when the horn sounded. Clutching my bag, I hounded. Hounded means to follow. Clutching my bag, I hounded out of the driveway. But to my dismay, the bus was nowhere in sight. Rushing back, I entreated my father to drop me to school in his car. He grudgingly agreed after giving me a pep talk on being careless. So children, this is the point in which we discussed how I got a plate and what happened that morning. 
Now let's discuss our next point prepared for the wrong subject. I reached school 20 minutes late and was immediately ticked off by the monitor who asked me to stay back after school as a punishment. I took this in my stride, cursing my ill stars for the humiliation. On reaching the classroom, I took my seat and settled down for the test. The question paper left me dumbstruck. Was I hallucinating? Hallucinating means daydreaming. I pinched myself to see if I was in my senses. Yes, I was. I glanced at my wristwatch. It was indeed the 1st of September. But the test started was not English but Maths. The earth seemed to slip under my feet as I tried to come to terms but to give a test without preparation was indeed a nightmare. I however gathered my wits and began to attempt the questions with trembling hands. Now let's discuss our next point, punished for coming late. After two hours, the ordeal was finally over. Ordeal means a difficult experience. I had vision of sound waking that was in store for me. I was morose. Morose means sad throughout the lunch recess. My friend first laughed at my foolishness but later comforted me allaying my fears. Allaying means to make me strong. To add salt to injury, I was made to stand outside the class for not bringing the science book. I heaved a sigh of relief on hearing the toll of the school bell. But alas, I had to stay back for detention, which meant catching a public bus to reach home. The journey by bus was Another shattering experience. It was packed to capacity and I could barely stand on my feet throughout the journey. Now let's discuss the conclusion. A year has passed but I still have nightmare of that day when everything went wrong at school. Recalling it sends a shiver down my spine. So children, I hope that you have understood this essay. Now, try to write other two essays, My Idea of Happy Life and If I Were a Millionaire using the hints sent to you in the SNAP homework. Thank you.